hello guys today I will show you how to create this kind of a flip details card for your user or your employee details and you will be able to th create uh, this kind of design by using free elementor and wordpress and for that reason you don't need to purchase a pro version and uh, i will use another things which one will be custom coded css and that one is very small amount of custom css and i will provide that css in the description below so you will be able to copy and paste that css code in your work and you will be able to customize also so let's start to creating this kind of design for that reason we just go to your admin panel in on dashboard and after that add a new page and I just wrote here the file uh, page name uh, just flip, flip card and I publish that one and click on that edit with Elementor after that I am just going to hide this uh, header and footer so for that reason click go to the setting and uh, page layout will be Elementor canvas <coughs> and uh, uh, let's add a new section and there will be four column and the uh, section height will be minimum height and that one will be ph and is to will it it have to 100 percent wide height after that just uh, add uh, click on that rupees cube icon and then add an image in that section just any 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 kind of any any anywhere any of the column in this section and uh, let's up Upload our first image our first image is this one so let's upload that image and I have already uploaded that image if you don't have up uploaded this image then after that uh, then click on that upload files and select your files and it will be this image just to double click on that image and then it will be uh, it will be in your media uh, library and just uh, pick that image and insert the media and let's uh, give a hundred percent full size and uh, in the style we'll give hundred percent wide and height will be 400 and uh, and uh, the object feet will be cover so now this one is good and i will give another things which one will be border radius and 10 pixels for everywhere okay and then we need to add this kind of details so for that reason we, we have to click on that ruby skew icon then we need to add an inner section on the button on the button side okay and then we just need to delete this one from we need to just one section and this one will be height and wide will be okay so this uh, inner section height will be minimum height and it will be 400 and after that just reduce the spacing and it will be in the uh, in and in the column it will be vertical alignment middle for every single content will be in the middle section so let's add the background color first the background color will be let's pick the color background color first okay this one's the pixie i just uh, used this one for the color picking purpose just alter control alter c then the color will be color code will be copy after that uh, add background color here so, and the border radius will be 10 also it will be same as the, that one border resist and pixel okay so after that we need to add a heading here and the heading text will be something like this uh, okay 
okay and this one will be in the middle section and the style font color will be white and uh, okay and the typography will be bold okay and uh, other things is perfect okay so another th things we have to uh, duplicate that one we need to duplicate this one or again click on the Rubik's Cube icon and uh, add another heading here and then here will be the position or description uh, designation and it will be s3 and uh, it will uh, and uh, alignment will be center and color also white and the font size will be 24 is big too much big 20 I think uh, this one is 17400 okay 17 and it will be 400 okay so let's recheck that the text okay this text size is 1.75 cm okay that one is same size okay so now we need to add our social media icon click on that uh, Rubik's Cube icon and search social media and drop here after that shape will be circle <coughs> and style will be custom and background will be white primary color will be uh, primary color will be this color sorry primary color will be white and the secondary color will be this same color on the background color and it will be something like this looks like something like this and the size will be okay and the size will be sorry size will be 30 uh, that is too much let's give here 20 yes 20 is perfect <coughs> and uh, this one looks good and uh, after that we need to add just one thing which one will be a button uh, the button is here drop here and it will be center and here will be hire me text and then the color will be white and the text color will be the background color sorry the text color will be background color okay and the typography will be semi bold now it looks good and we need to give a little bit spacing for this uh, click on that and uh, add uh, go to advance and unbind that margin and give here 30 pixel it, let's give 40 pixel so it looks good and now we uh, we are done with the design and now we need to just uh, add some few code for this flip details so let's uh, see the code structure uh, this is the code structure for that we need to copy the whole so whole code and after that we need to uh, search HTML and we need to drop this one anywhere in this uh, in this column any anywhere in this uh, landing page and then just paste the code here okay so now we need to do another two th two things which one is we need to copy this uh, section class name this uh, section class name this one will be main section class name that one will be this section f out of the out of the section name and for that uh, copy the section name this one and then click on that 
click on that section column and go to advanced and uh, CSS class will be this and and it's working now and but, uh, but it's not working perfectly and uh, we need to do another things uh, we need to hide this section for that uh, click on this uh, click on the code and here is the text section class name this one will be in this inner section name let's go to advance and paste here so now it looks good but we are we are uh, able to see this HTML uh, section but it will not be visual in our final output and this one will not see any of the uh, visitor so let's duplicate that one and delete the others one and now duplicate this one two time okay now it's good now we are able to delete this uh, section uh, this HTML code just we need to uh, have one one HTML code section okay so we have one HTML sorry I deleted all the section oh, well the co columns and now it's working perfectly but <coughs> We need to we need to de add the details uh, for uh, four different section, something like this, four different section. So for that we uh, we are not able to click on every single uh, text. For that we need to open the navigator and the first one is done okay so first one is done and the second one is here uh, so change, uh, let's change that image here's the image this one is the image so we need uh, we need to change that one this one that uh, lady and uh, the third one will be same things for the other other things uh, for the heading you will be able to change the heading you will be also able to uh, change the designation and other things also so just uh, uh, let me change the images second image will be that main image and third image will be the last image mm, I think this one just this one so we are done just up upgrade that one up upgrade that one and uh, let see this one properly so see this one is working perfectly so let's open that one in our inconvenient browser private browser <coughs> so it's working perfectly let's, let's see the responsive version so for the resp responsive version here so in the text uh, tab version it's worked perfectly perfectly and let's give her 2020 so it will be style will be 50 and uh, that one is also same 50 sorry this one so open the navigator and that that one will be sorry that one will be also 50 sorry this one will be 50 and uh, this one also be 50 for the tablet device and the last one also be 50 percent for the desktop device okay so for the mobile so it's working perfectly for the mobile so that one is the responsive so we no need to worry about the responsive version so let's open that one and let's see the a different variation this one is for the laptop or desktop this one is for that uh, small device which one is uh, tab or any kind of things and any small things and this one is for the mobile so it's working perfectly for every every single things 
so we are done about that and if you have any question or query feel free to let me know i will help you definitely help you and i will give you now uh, in the description below i will give you the uh, source things something uh, something like images and the source code will be uh, will be found on the description box so thank you have a good day